here we discuss the solution of a problem the problem is is z root a unique factorization domain this is in fact a part of the question that was there in the net examination this is meant for pg and csir net pursuing students is z root 13 a unique factorization domain it is a part of the question number 87 question number 87 the question id 8024375 and it is from the section c one of the options is z under the square root of 13 is a unique factorization domain so the aim of this video is to talk about is z root 13 a unique factorization domain let's recall the definition of the unique factorization domain an integral domain d is a unique factorization domain if every non zero element of d that is not a unit can be written as the product of irreducibles of d that means every non zero non unit of d non unit element of d can be written as the product of irreducible elements of d two second condition the factorization into irreducibles is unique up to associates and the order in which the factors appear so the factorization is unique up to associates and up to the order in which the factors appear we have a note here is z root 13 a unique factorization domain and uh, what joseph a gallian said in his book contemporary abstract algebra is the following the integral domain of the form z under the square root of d is equal to the set of all a plus b square root of d where ab belongs to z where d is not 1 and is not divisible by the square of a prime these rings are of fundamental importance in number theory to analyze these rings we need a convenient method of determining their units irreducibles and primes and in fact finding the units is a difficult job showing that an element of a ring of the form z under the square root of d is irreducible is more difficult when d greater than 1 our d is 13 13 greater than 1 and uh, you can see these remarks by joseph a gallian in his book on pages 322 to 323 question is is z root 13 a unique factorization domain we have z root 13 is the set of all a plus b under the square root of 13 where ab belongs to z and uh, it is an integral domain with unity under ordinary addition and multiplication define a function n called the norm function from z root d into the non negative integers by norm of a plus b root b square root d n of a plus b square root d is equal to mod a square minus db square note that 4 is a non zero non unit and Four can be written, factored in two ways: two into two and three plus root thirteen into minus three plus root thirteen. 
we show that 2 3 plus root 13 minus 3 plus root 13 are irreducibles in z root 13 but this factorization what what we have in this equation 1 is not unique we show that 2 and 3 plus root 13 minus 3 plus root 13 are not associates thereby we show that z under the square root of 13 is not a unique factorization domain to show this we first establish some results and show the result at the end lemma 1 no element of z root 13 has norm 2 let beta is equal to a plus b under the square root of 13 belongs to z root 13 and n of beta is equal to 2 norm of beta is equal to 2 and uh, n of beta is equal to 2 implies and implied by by definition mod of a square minus 13 b square is equal to 2 if and only if a square minus 13 b square is equal to plus or minus 2 if a square minus 13 b square is equal to plus or minus 2 then a square is congruent to plus or minus 2 mod 13 if you take the modulus this becomes 0 and a square is congruent to plus or minus 2 mod 13 is it possible that is the question any integer is of the form 13 k plus i where i is equal to 0 1 2 3 up to 12 let a is equal to 13 k plus i squaring we get 13 k plus i whole square is equal to 13 square k square plus 2 into 13 k plus i square and modulo 13 this will become 0 this will become 0 and will be e congruent to i square mod 13 so therefore a square is congruent to i square mod 13 where i is 0 1 2 3 up to 12 therefore a square is congruent to 0 0 square is 0 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 modulo 13 is 3 so like that we do it and 0 1 4 9 3 12 10 and modulo 13 so this is a, a square is congruent to these numbers only modulo 13 therefore in this in this plus 2 is not there minus 2 we mean 11 is not there therefore a square is not congruent to plus or, plus or minus 2 modulo 13 and uh, n beta n of beta norm of beta is not equal to 2 thus no element of z under the square root of 13 has norm 2 hence the result lemma 2 each element of z under the square root of 13 of norm 4 is irreducible so any element of z under the square root of 13 with norm 4 is irreducible element let's recall the definition of the irreducible element a non zero element a in an integral domain d is called an irreducible element if a is not a unit and whenever a is written as bc a is equal to bc then either b or c is a unit let alpha be any element of z under the square root of 13 of norm 4 then alpha is not a unit why the norm of alpha is 4 and we recall the result x is a unit if and only if norm of x is equal to 1 so norm of alpha is not 1 therefore alpha is not a unit suppose that alpha is equal to beta multiplied by gamma for some beta gamma belongs to z under the square root of 13 we show that either beta is a unit or gamma is a unit and thereby alpha becomes irreducible now alpha 
now n of alpha is 4 so 4 is equal to n of alpha n of alpha is equal to n of beta gamma n of beta gamma is equal to n of beta into n of gamma because the norm function n is a multiplication multiplicative function it is a multiplicative function this implies n beta into n gamma is equal to 4 implies either n beta is 1 n gamma is 4 what is the next option uh, or n of beta is 4 n of gamma is 1 what is the other other alternative that is uh, uh, n of beta is equal to 2 n of gamma is equal to 2 these are the three possibilities what we have written if n of beta is equal to 1 n of gamma is 4 then beta is a unit because x is a unit if and only if n of x norm of x is equal to 1 if n of beta is 4 n of gamma is equal to 1 then gamma is a unit so in these two cases beta is a unit or gamma is a unit and the third case n of beta is equal to 2 n of gamma is equal to 2 is not possible since no element of z under the square root of 13 has norm 2 we have seen this in lemma 1 thus alpha is irreducible alpha is irreducible why alpha is written as beta into gamma where either beta is gamma beta is a unit or gamma is a unit therefore alpha is irreducible this proves that each element of z under the square root of 13 of norm 4 is irreducible lemma 3 it has two parts in the first part we prove 2 and 3 plus root 13 are not associates in z under the square root of 13 the second part 2 and minus 3 plus root 13 are not associates in z under the square root of 13 it is known that x and y are associates when do you say x is an associate of y x is equal to some unit times y or y y is equal to some unit times x so we have a result x and y are associates if and only if the ideal generated by x is equal to the ideal generated by y let u be the ideal generated by 2 that is bracket 2 let v be the ideal generated by 3 plus under the square root of 13 that is the ideal generated by 3 plus root 13 bracket bracket 3 plus root 13 that is equal to the set of all multiples of multiples of 3 plus root 13 by the elements of z root 13 so it is the set of all 3 plus root 13 multiplied by a plus b under the square root of 13 where a b belongs to z and that will be equal to the set of all those elements of z root 13 which will look like 3a plus 13b plus a plus 3b under the square root of 13 where a b belongs to z assume that 2 and 3 plus root 13 are associates then by the above result the ideal generated by 2 must be equal to the ideal generated by 3 plus root 13 that is u is equal to v we have 2 belongs to u obviously now 2 belongs to v will imply 3a plus 13b is 2 a plus 3b is equal to 0 a b belongs to z solving we will get 2b is equal to 1 where b belongs to z this is not possible because no no integer when multiplied by 2 will give you 1 is a contradiction this contradiction shows you 2 belongs to does not belong to b 2 does not belong to b when we say 2 belongs to u we have proved 2 does not belong to v from this it follows u is not equal to v so therefore 2 and 3 2 and 3 plus root 13 are not associates and similarly 2 plus minus 3 plus root 13 are not associates hence the result we come to the final result we show z under the square root of 13 is not a unique factorization domain we have 
फोर थ्री प्लस रूट थर्टीन माइनस थ्री प्लस रूट थर्टीन दे ऑल बिलोंग टू जेड रूट थर्टीन नोट दैट फोर इज ए नॉन जीरो नॉन यूनिट एलिमेंट वाई इट इज नॉन यूनिट नॉम ऑफ फोर इज नॉट इक्वल टू वन ऑफ सो एंड वी हैव टू इंटू टू इज इक्वल टू फोर is equal to 3 plus root 13 into minus 3 plus root 13 so 4 is factorized in two different ways notice that 2 3 plus root 13 minus 3 plus root 13 have norm 4 and we have seen that each element of z root 13 of norm 4 is irreducible therefore all these three are irreducible elements therefore 2 3 plus root 13 and minus 3 plus root 13 are irreducible elements in z root 13 by lemma 3 2 is not an associate of 2 is not an associate of 3 plus root 13 and 2 is not an associate of minus 3 plus root 13 so the, this shows that this factorization that is given in one is not unique it's not unique up to associates and hence the second condition of the unique factorization domain definition of the unique factors domain is not satisfied therefore z under the square root of 13 is not a unique factorization domain so that is the discussion of the solution of the question is z root 13 a unique factorization domain and the answer is it is not i hope that you have understood the solution and you like the proof of it and i wish you all the best thank you